So first, all you have to do is to draw a circle. It doesn't even have to be perfect, right? Like this is not that. This is more like an oval than a circle, but good enough. And then you want to draw two lines that cuts it in half, or should I say, in quarters. Alright, now you want to come to the left side and just draw a line down. And then between those two lines, between this part here, right, just draw another line. Remember, we're using construction lines, so if you have a, a, a pencil, use that. We're not going in with any heavy medium yet. So make this line roughly about 50-50 between the two. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that we need to make this work. Okay, from the bottom of uh, this part, draw another line and have it just a slightly along the circle. So there's a little bit of space in here. So once that's done, uh, believe it or not, most of our of the work is actually get completed. You see, this is what happens. Okay, ready? This part here, and I'll use I'll use a dark color so you can see. This part here is roughly where the year is going to be. And of course, actual size varies depends on. Um, you know, people and people. And if you want, you want a more precise way to determine the year, um, maybe I made it a little bit too big. You can cut this and this, this, this into one third. Roughly about here is where the hairline is. And you can make the bottom of the year if you really want to, which roughly about here, which I made way too big, but something like that. And then I want you to keep going down and make a smooth curve. Today we're going to draw a, a slightly more feminine looking profile, so make a smooth curve. Like so. And this is this part is about is about the only tricky part here. Um, in this space right here, right in, in this space is where the eye sockets are. So the shape can vary from people person to person and you know if you are designing a character you would you can play around with that. But the position is roughly around here. So this is the top of the eyebrow, or, or should I say the middle of the eyebrow, top of the uh, eye socket. And go down a bit more. Like I can divide those into further lines, but I don't want to make this sound sounds more, more overwhelming than it has to be. And a little triangle like that. Notice the space between those uh, three lines. They're, you know, they're quite even. If anything, you can make the eyebrow even higher. You know. Okay. And between the first line and the second line, between between this line and this line. Over here, I want you to just draw. A line that you know slant that's that's tilted towards it like this and then you can actually put a little bit more pressure here maybe you can make a little angle a little bump if you want to it's not ne totally necessary and you can put a step put a more pressure into it notice we just still following that curve of that uh, skull 
Um, the only part you gotta watch out for is don't follow it all the way to the end. Just follow it all the way to about maybe halfway. And then from this point on, you can change, change the angle. So it's more horizontal. And then from here to this, from this line here to this line here, that's where the nose is going to be. So again, the shape would change depending on what you want to make, but generally the nose is not going to be, you know, a lot of mistakes beginners make is that they make the nose like something like something like this. Most people's nose, nose is not like that. There's a, a curve there. Something like that. And here you can create the wings of the nose, add some details as you see fit. And, and from the eyebrow down you can create kind of an angle that would be the eyeballs. Alright, so we got the nose, we got the ears. Uh, here, let me. You, you can put out some details for the ears if you want. To, you can look at the anatomy of the ear, um, but it's roughly something that's probably like this, All right? I gotta remember this part. Ear is quite. Ear is quite a weird looking thing, I admit. Um, something like that, and you can always just. Uh, Play around with it and make it more more realistic. Okay. Now the only thing that's left is the mouth, and here's something that I <coughs> that's a really good tip that that <coughs> excuse me to follow from the tip of the nose to this part. I want you to draw like a very light, another guideline. It's very very light. The mouth actually all the points of the mouth actually falls on the line most of well, from or very close to it for for most people so it will be something like this oh by the way if you want to you can make another line here that's roughly midway it's gonna help a little bit and here is another part that is slightly tricky if you think of the mouth from the sideways as an M shape one of the peak is about quarter away from the nose and the other one is about halfway down. Any point that protrudes outward should touch or be close to that guideline we made from the nose to the chin. Um, I'm going a little slow here since from sideways I still want to give it a little bit of uh, that 3D structure. The middle of the uh, I mean the peak at the middle is generally rounder, which I will make it a, a little bit rounder since the bottom of most people's lip is fuller and the curve uh, you, cur you know the curve backs out once you reach that guideline to create another round shape for the chin and Here I'm just going to make the bottom lip a little bit rounder So it doesn't look like she's making a dark face and now <clears throat> This is a very generic um, proportion. We can add the neck if you want. If you want to add the neck, start from the chin and comes down. It mostly goes straight until you meet about this line here, right? It goes straight and then curves backwards as a curve. Same thing with the back of the neck. You can start somewhere. Um, make sure it's not after the year, it's before the year. And you can start curve. Like so. And you can, you know, there's, there might be some closing line or whatever. And now we can, if you want to, you can start to add some hair. And remember, the hair has a little bit of volume, not much. Well, it depends on your character, I, I suppose. 
and I'm just gonna give you some idea of some volume of hair that, that I'm gonna add to the top of a head especially in the back uh, for a lot of people that that's where most of the uh, volume resides so I'm just gonna give you an idea really fast Doing some shadow lines here and there to show you if you know where there is most likely to be to be pretty dark compared to the rest. And I'm just doing like a bond, like a simple bond. And make sure the hair is not too perfectly round because the hair is kind of random by nature. And if you want to, you can. The, a little bit of highlight that never that never hurts. So this is not perfect, but hopefully you know it demonstrates that you can create fairly okay proportions from very simple steps, and you can of course adjust all the ratios and angles, not much, just slightly, to create your own character. Any questions or future tip requests, just let me know. Don't forget to hit notification bell and all that. Cheers!